Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of the US ban on Chinese semiconductor. The United States has taken action against Chinese semiconductors in various aspects, restricting China's purchase of foreign advanced technology products. Moreover, Japan and the Netherlands have reached an agreement. According to news from Japan, they have already planned to restrict the export of 23 types of cutting-edge chip technologies, and the Netherlands will also implement DUV lithography machine control measures in the summer. What the United States didn't expect was that China's dual-chip architecture counterattacked starting from the underlying technology and opening up two domestic chip development paths. The U.S. chip restrictions cover all aspects of the semiconductor industry. If you want to bypass the U.S. technology restrictions, you have to rely on independent research and development. However, the United States is the origin of semiconductors. If you start with upper-level applications, almost all the patented technologies involved are related to the United States. Therefore, we can only start from the source and grasp EDA industrial software, architecture technology, etc. in the field of chip design. Huawei has announced that it has conquered 14 nanometers and above EDA industrial software and will complete a comprehensive verification this year. With EDA, what about architecture technology? Regarding this point, China's dual-chip architecture, counterattacked, and Lung Sanjonka and Alibaba made a move. First look at the Godson Long Arch architecture. On March 27th, Lungsan Jonka released the Lungsan Ecological White Paper, 2022, which introduced Lungsan chips and long arch ecological development achievements, and analyzed the Lungsan chips released in the future. In the white paper, Lungsan Jonka respectively introduced the desktop CPU and server chips to be released in the future. Among them, the Lungsan 3A6000 of the desktop CPU is in the research and development stage, and its performance design has increased by 40% to 60% compared with the previous generation 3A5000. It can be compared with AMD Zen 2. 20% reduction in silicon area. The 3D6000 of the server CPU further improves the core and memory access bandwidth. These CPU chips are all CPUs based on the Long Arch architecture. Lungsan Jonka has completely independent intellectual property rights for Long Arch. Adhering to the concept of carrying out independence to the end, it is bound to build a domestic information technology system. You should know that Lungsan Jonka is currently the only domestic manufacturer of self-developed general-purpose CPUs. Other domestic CPU brands have almost adopted the Intel x86 architecture. If Intel stops licensing, Long Arch from Lungsan Jonka will be a good alternative instruction set. Of course, it is not enough to rely solely on the Long Arch architecture developed by Lungsan Jonka. Domestic manufacturers are also required to participate in the construction of the ecology, so that the Long Arch architecture chips can be equipped with more software and hardware platforms to provide a guarantee for consolidating the domestic information technology system. Next, look at our Liz RISC-V architecture. Anyone who knows RISC-V knows that this architecture project originated in the United States. 
Although it has a certain relationship with the United States, the RISC-V architecture is completely free and open source. Even the United States cannot prevent Chinese manufacturers from participating in the RISC-V layout. What's more, most of the senior members of RISC-V are Chinese companies, and some people already regard RISC-V as the structure of the Chinese camp. Nai Guangnan, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, also said that RISC-V is an opportunity for domestic chips, and domestic manufacturers can properly focus on the layout. In this regard, Alibaba has deeply developed RISC-V architecture technology. Up to now, it has developed eight RISC-V processors and released the world's first high-performance RISC-V chip development platform, Wujian 600, deeply participating in the international RISC-V development. Standard Setting In China, Alibaba's investment in RISC-V R&D is the deepest. With the support of Alibaba, domestic manufacturers can continue to participate in the construction of the RISC-V ecosystem and build their own architecture products. U.S. companies such as Intel and Qualcomm are also betting on RISC-V. Since the AIM architecture is on the side of the United States, complying with U.S. rules does not allow Chinese companies to authorize the most advanced architecture technology, which will affect the chip design business of domestic manufacturers. But with the support of RISC-V, whether AIM is open to authorization is not so important. Moreover, Ali completes the adaptation of mainstream operating systems based on RISC-V. Whether it is Android, Linux, or Tongshin UOS, they can all run hardware products with RISC-V architecture, illuminating the road ahead for domestic manufacturers. China began to take the dual-chip architecture route, long arch self-developed by Lungsen Junka, and RISC-V deeply deployed by Alibaba. The United States has a strong advantage in chip design. The EDA industrial software that monopolizes the world comes from American companies. However, in terms of architecture, except for Intel's mastery of x86, ARM, the mobile terminal architecture giant, is not an American company. Even if AIM listens to the United States, the risk V that Chinese manufacturers are vigorously deploying has the conditions to replace AIM. If AIM insists on walking with the United States, it will be a matter of time before risk V breaks the AIM monopoly. Unexpectedly by the United States, China has two independent and controllable architecture technologies in hand, and it is expected to achieve a breakthrough from the root. The United States does not sell chips to China now, and it will be difficult to sell them in the future. Some foreign media also said, Chinese people don't buy it. Last year, China reduced its imports of 97 billion chips, down 15% year-on-year. While reducing imports, China is increasing the manufacture of independent mature chips. With the counterattack of the dual-chip architecture, reliance on American technology may become a thing of the past. If you agree with the viewpoint of the video, please like it. Welcome to Forward, leave a message and share.